Okay, right behind me is a Hitachi HMC 600. It's a specialty demolition excavator. We're with Keybag. We're outside of Zurich today. We're checking out this building demolition. This is an absolute weapon. The operator, John Rambo, according to the side of the machine, has 30 years experience. And we just watched them rip, I don't know, it seemed like 10-15% like of the building down in the hour we were here. They spent two weeks stripping the entirety of the building of absolutely everything. They said they recycled 90% of what was within the building. And now is the, the actual structure of the building, the concrete, the steel. So this thing, this is just a ridiculous sized tool. It can rotate, it eats through the concrete, it cuts the steel reinforcing up. All of this will be crushed up to a reasonable size on site, loaded into trucks, hauled off. All of the concrete here 100% is recycled. All of the steel is recycled. The concrete here, they don't just, as we saw yesterday, they don't just recycle it into road base like they do in the United States. They actually recycle it into new concrete. So it'll form new buildings, new roads, all sorts of things around Switzerland. They're remarkably good at recycling. They're remarkably good at demolition. Watching this kind of stuff is an absolute treat. It's such an amazing skill and I love to watch it every single time I, I get the chance to. So that's this morning. Um, Hugo is supposed to meet us this morning. No idea where Hugo is. We're gonna try to find the address for the second site we're supposed to go to with Eberhard. Um, so let's figure out what we're gonna do there and maybe we'll see you over there. Okay, we just got out of here, site number two, Eberhard again. They're demolishing a row of houses here near downtown Zurich. They have a 330 up front. I thought that was the only thing going, but this is what we were looking for right here. 336 VA boom, demolition excavator, munching on a old house. There, you can see sorting through the material, separating out the, the precious metals, the wood, the concrete, the steel, all of that jazz. So that's what he's doing right now. Most of the house is down. He's just sorting with the processor. This is nice. One of the most impressive things about our European excursion so far is to watch the operators use tools. In the United States, damn it. Okay. So one of the coolest things about Europe so far is watching the operators use different tools. Traditionally speaking, in the United States, a demolition company We'll be using a normal excavator with a bucket and a thumb. That's all they'll use. In Europe, there are no thumbs. There are no normal excavators. This job, we have a variable angle, 336, with a tilty cab. Probably, uh, there's probably a formal term for that. But it's a demolition spec machine. It has water nozzles on the front. That thing is ready to rock and roll. Not only is the machine specialized, but the tools are specialized. They use a lot of different tools here very, very frequently. They're always changing out tools. Thanks to, they have oil quick setups. So every Eberhard machine I've seen has an oil quick setup. And that's, it's basically a quick coupler with hydraulic lines integrated. So this machine, he has a grapple, a processor, a bucket, and there might be, uh, there's a tilty bucket over there as well. So he just grabbed his normal bucket to go load a truck, and then he'll go take his bucket off, put his processor on, and that processor works immediately because of the oil quick, because of the integrated hydraulic lines in there. He's not having to get out and wrestle lines and all that nonsense. So because it's so convenient, these guys switch out tools constantly, and they can be a hell of a lot more effective. This is 
This is the superior way of doing it. Yes, I know oil quick is expensive. Yes, I know all these tools, it's expensive, but this is, this is how to do it. They have it figured out. You like this music? It's like station music, it's everywhere, so quite funny. Okay, so that officially concludes the Swiss portion of our trip. We just left Switzerland five minutes ago. Headed to Colmar, France to see our friends at Liebert, which I am extremely excited about. So that was the demolition job site part of our tour. Now we go Liebert factories, beautiful equipment side of this trip. So one day in France, tomorrow, we go to Germany, we're gonna have dinner in Colmar. Colmar is supposed to be absolutely beautiful. Have you been to Colmar? You've never, never been before, but it's it should be beautiful. It should be beautiful. You Google Colmar and it looks like a Europe 2022 calendar would be a picture, like the month of March. So we're headed there right now to meet Lee Bear, have dinner, see the factories tomorrow. Can't wait to show everybody. They said pictures and videos are not typically allowed, but we got the A-OK. -okay. So you guys will be right there with us, stay tuned. Can't wait. It should be beautiful.